Sweet Summer Days is happening now at Whole Foods Market with sales on the juiciest fruits of the season. Organic peaches, organic cantaloupes, blueberries, and strawberries. That's an epic fruit salad. You'll also find sweet sales on fresh Alaska sockeye salmon and halibut and grill-ready fruity marinades. Keep your wallet happy with aisles of savings from 365 by Whole Foods Market, like sparkling waters, frozen fruits, and snacks. Sweeten your summer at Whole Foods Market. Terms apply. To make the most of life, we can't undervalue the importance of sleep. That's why I want to tell you about a fantastic podcast called Get Sleepy. It helps you fall asleep with original stories and meditations. They're captivating enough to grasp your attention and pull you away from your day-to-day problems yet so incredibly relaxing that you'll have no choice but to fall asleep. There are hundreds of episodes, so you're bound to find something you love and get a good night's rest. Search for Get Sleepy wherever you listen to podcasts or go to getsleepy.com. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2221. You can't have all of the fitness all of the time. Part one by Kate Galliott of fitforreallife.com. And I'm Dr. Neil, your very own personal narrator. Happy Saturday and welcome to another edition of Optimal Health Daily, where I read some of the best blogs covering health and fitness, just like an audiobook, and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. Now, today's post is a bit longer than what I typically narrate. So whenever that happens, I read the first half today and then finish it up for you tomorrow. So with that, let's get to it as we optimize your life. You Can't Have All of the Fitness All of the Time, Part 1, by Kate Galliott of fitforreallife.com. In an ever-social world where everyone is posting everything, from new workout personal records to new workout clothes, it's easy to get distracted from your own fitness journey. All those results others are getting look so dang good, you find yourself wanting all of them. But distraction is the devil when it comes to reaching, and being satisfied by your own fitness pursuits. Desire. We've done it since we were kids. Another kid playing with a toy makes that toy infinitely more intriguing to you. A friend gets a new car, and all of a sudden your car seems not so great anymore. Someone you know hits a squat personal record, and all of a sudden you want a squat personal record too, when just a moment before, you were content with your goal of accomplish an Ironman triathlon. When we desire a fitness goal, we're desiring not just the end goal, but also how we think we'll feel when we achieve that goal. To see someone else achieving, well, we want to achieve too. We want to be awesome. We want to be accomplished. We want all of the fitness. Consider though, that the word fitness covers a massive birth of end goals, You can be fit and be as sculpted as a Greek god statue for a physique competition. You can be fit and be unsculpted, but be capable of jerking hundreds of pounds over your head. You can be incapable of moving a massive weight, but you can run 26.2 miles and beyond with relative ease, and that is a form of fitness. You can never run 26.2 miles, but you're fit because you are a technical master in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. These are just four of what is essentially a bottomless well of fitness goals you could select from. The key here is to decide, what do you actually want from your fitness program? Clarity brings quality. You must be clear on what your main goal is and what you want to excel at, whatever excel means to you. Not only will that spur your motivation, but it will also make it easier to decide what's worth spending time on and what isn't when you set up your fitness program. I'll use a recent new client as an example. They came to me wanting to achieve a new level of performance in swimming that currently eluded them. Prior to working with me, they were swimming a few times a week and they were doing a boot camp that met five days a week. The boot camp class featured the most intense workouts of this client's week. I asked the client why they were doing a five day a week boot camp that was more intense and consistent than their swimming workouts when swimming was the main goal. They then indicated that getting a body similar to that of their instructor was also a goal that was poking around in their head. Ah, there's the issue. The client wants a second goal, a body like that of their boot camp class instructor. In working to achieve it, 
they were putting themselves in the hole when it came time to completing the workouts that focused on their initial goal of becoming a high-performing swimmer. This person was working on two goals in the hopes of achieving them, when, in fact, one was detracting from the other. Once we got totally clear on which goal was priority number one, swimming, I was able to help the client restructure her program so any strength work we were doing was supporting and not distracting from the quality and intensity needed to do the swimming workouts. Now that the right amount of energy was focused on the workouts that will help her become a better swimmer, the client was happier too because she started seeing progress on her swimming goal. The other goal was moved off the plate for now, yet despite that, the client actually started commenting on how she noticed and enjoyed how her body changed as she improved at swimming. To be continued. You just listened to part one of the post titled, You Can't Have All of the Fitness All of the Time by Kate Galliott of fitforreallife.com. Business owners know that hiring the right people can be a real challenge. Make it easier with Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform helping over 3 million businesses do it all. Attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates. With Indeed's instant match feature, Over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates the moment they sponsor a job. I especially love that if you invite these or any candidates of your choosing to apply, they are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in search. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash health. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at indeed.com slash health. Just go to indeed.com slash health and support the show by saying you heard about it on this podcast. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Sweet Summer Days is happening now at Whole Foods Market with sales on the juiciest fruits of the season, organic peaches, organic cantaloupes, blueberries, and strawberries. That's an epic fruit salad. You'll also find sweet sales on fresh Alaska sockeye salmon and halibut and grill-ready fruity marinades. Keep your wallet happy with aisles of savings from 365 by Whole Foods Market, like sparkling waters, frozen fruits, and snacks. Sweeten your summer at Whole Foods Market. Terms apply. Dr. Neal here for my commentary. You know how Kate mentioned that her clients started noticing the positive changes to her body after she refocused her attention on her initial goal? Well, that extra benefit is a very common side effect. I know I talk about celebrity trainer Mark Twight a lot on this show, but it's only because he says a lot of things that relate to what we talk about. Now, in case you're not familiar with his work, Mark Twight trained the actors to look like Greek warriors for the film 300. He trained Henry Cavill to look like he had the body of Superman for the Man of Steel movie. Obviously these actors needed to have impressive physiques, physiques that were clearly visible on screen. But when asked about these types of impressive physical aesthetics, Mark Twight responded, quote, aesthetics are actually our last concern. True fitness comes from training the muscle that sits in your skull, your brain, end quote. He argues that aesthetics or having a nice physique are a nice side effect of putting in the work to improve your overall fitness level. In fact, Mark Twight's colleague, Rob McDonald, once said something so aligned with what Kate mentioned in her post, I just have to repeat it here. Quote, if someone tells me they want to get fit, I ask, fit for what? Fitness is task dependent. You need to map things out and set a goal, whether that's to finish a triathlon or simply to look and feel healthier. End quote. Well, guess what? This is what today's author, Kate, has been saying all along. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for sharing the show with someone. I'll be back here tomorrow to finish up this post. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits.